Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for my GitHub Triangle Arbitrage bot. This is the version 2 of the bot. It has many improvements. It's very precise now. Um, first thing I want to show you, I'm kind of proud about this. I actually won the 4th place reward for the coding, for the code off for this bot. So I was kind of excited about that. Did, I mean, you didn't, for fourth place, I didn't win very much. I think I got like a $150 Starbucks card, but still, I mean, it's kind of neat to win. So I ran a 29-day test of running this 24-7. This was my starting Ethereum. Um, now the bot, now this is what was in the, the wallet that I was utilizing, the 0.89. The bot was set to only use 0.5 though, so keep that in mind. And this is the ending after the 29 days of running the 10.62. So I'm going to go over how you configure this. Super easy to configure now and super easy to run. Um, once you download it, I'll put the link in the video if you're coming from YouTube to my um, GitHub. And you'll have the zip file you download once you unzip it. You'll have these files here. The main things you need to be concerned about is the config.js file. And any kind of transaction, go in the transaction hash if you want to review the transactions. You're going to open the config.js file and go edit. And from here you're going to have to enter your the public address you want to use and the private key to that public address. Now if you're using a hardware wallet, that doesn't give you the um, private key very easily you can enter your wallet seed here but that's only if you um, don't know the, the actual private address of the um, of the public address you're entering then enter the wallet seed so I set up some a test one here so this will never have any money in this address so don't bother copying it I mean, you, you could if you wanted to, but there's never going to be anything in there. Okay, so I'll put that there. And the private key to that address goes in right here. Just like that. And then you have some other settings here. Network. The test was ran on the Ethereum network, so that's one for Ethereum. If you want to run on BNB, it's 2 and 3 for Polygon. Now the max spend, I ran the test on 0.5. So this is basically the settings that I used to run the 29 day test. So And then you go save, so I save that. Just close that. So go back in to your folder. This is all configured now. Now, you can go over to index.html, and you're going to right click and go open with, and I'm going to open, the, the test I used was actually ran on Firefox, so I'm going to run this in Firefox, and arbitrage bar starting arbitrage bot there we go okay now I threw an error up because um, my wallet balance is zero and my max spend is 0 0.5 so it's saying um, it's looking for an arbitrage of 0 0.5 the only problem is the wallet balance <coughs> um, the wallet balance is less than the max spend so um, it's not never gonna obviously find an arbitrage like that but just for the the video, the example, that's what exactly what we do, the exact steps. Very easy to run. Once you configure that, you just run this in your web browser and you just leave that running in your web browser. Now I've tested this on a Windows um, 10 computer, a Windows 7 computer, um, a Macintosh. It, let's see, I think it might run on actually a phone too. If you, if you, if you downloaded this on a phone and could run this in a web browser on your phone it should it should run the only thing is the phone might hibernate or something and 
then it might stop the actual JavaScript uh, inside the web browser from running. But um, it's very simple to use. Um, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and I'll promptly get um, back to them. Thank you.